Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of How to Make a More Player Game. In today's episode, we will be doing, uh, we will be setting up the more player, and we've got the levels so, uh, sorted out, but we still haven't fixed the errors from the previous episode. Anyways, I'm not going to be fixing the errors with the video, but I will be showing you guys how to set up a more player server. If you go into your window and asset store, man is ready right here and type and go all the way scroll up alright and if you go to home if you're not at home at the moment uh, if you go to home and you search for um, what's it called well, I keep having Python in my head if you go to networking I tell you guys what's it called uh, services Okay. I actually have forgot. There, no, there we go. Photon. If you type in photon in your Unity search asset store and, and download it, make sure you save everything before doing so. So save that um, just in case it crashes. And if you press import and wait for it to import. It, what it gives you, it gives you 20 slot server and 5 demo codes which is pretty cool because it let it, this allows you to play online so I'll be showing you guys uh, this uh, I'll be showing you guys on this episode on how to set up a multiplayer server but in other episodes I'll be showing you guys how to get the spawns and people and like people spawning down so you guys will see all of this in other episodes as well, these episodes won't be that long, they will be short, uh, about half an hour long. So okay, when you import to this, uh, you should get this thing popping out. And what this asks you is for your Photon Cloud. Photon Cloud is basically a server for you already. But before you get started, you got to type in your email address. Um, so I'm going to create, I'm going to type in um, if I can remember my gmail account for this um, for this account programming okay I actually there we go all right so let's okay So it's let's program team at gmail.com. And then if you press send, it will be sending you uh, login details. And you will get your key on there. If you remove this, uh, alright then. To be honest, you're going to have to go to your Gmail account straight away to so make sure it's real. Gmail.com. Okay then, just wait. I'm not going to be showing it on this screen just for purposes, uh, for safety and instead of me getting spammed or hacked or you guys reading my messages. So, there we go. It should be from exitgames.com. If you press and confirm, there we go, I'll show you guys. So, there we go. If you press on that, you'll get your... Uh, you'll be able to confirm it's that password. So, if you click on that link, I will take you to exitgames.com and you, you will create a password so I'm going to create one right now that password is like quite long so that I don't get hacked or anything so yeah so we're going to have a voucher we don't have a voucher do we? no we don't uh, I believe I believe not so alright to be honest isn't there we go we should. Alright, if we go on to dashboard, what you will see is managed. Um, so, this won't be bled. Okay. So, anyways, I don't care if you guys see this or not because you won't be able to use it. Alright then. Type that into your app ID. So, paste that in there. Pick your country. So, I'm in the Europe, uh, UK. So, save. Press OK and then you can close that down. Now if you click on your resources and your Photon server uh, settings, you should be able to see your app ID right here. All 
Alright then. So, now we're going to get into the main programming stuff. I don't remember the code off by heart, so I'll be back with you guys when I actually find the code so that we have no mistakes or no problems with it. So, I'll be back with you guys in a couple of seconds. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, before we get into anything else, I just want to make sure that my hierarchy is actually clean so that we don't have any stuff disappearing or something. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff here to be honest, I have to agree to that. Alright, so floors, get that closed down. Okay. Alright then. There's quite a lot of stuff opened up now. So, this might take a while. Okay, there we go. Alright, so if you go to create and create an empty, it doesn't matter where you place it, but I'll just leave it where it is and just rename it to scripts. Um, so what I'll use this for is for my global and network scripts. So this is basically the network scripts for the normal player. So make sure you have it like this. Or you can, uh, uh, for, my, um, for my sake, I'll just place that at the very top. So that it's easier for me to find it, so it's right there. We don't need that, so I'll just delete that. Alright, so the scripts should be right there. And when that's done, um, just make sure everything else is clean and that you have no mistakes or any errors with your game. If we go to our console, we, we have some errors ready. Alright, uh, it might be from Photon, but if you do have any errors, just get rid of them. Make sure you keep saving before getting into program. Make sure you save your uh, game because if one of these codes messes up your game, don't come lemming me because um, you probably have done something wrong. But this is very tough and it is very hard as well. So make sure you do back up your files before actually um, proceeding any further with this programming. Because I had this problem many times in the past and I hope so. Uh, I hope that I won't have any problems at the moment. So yeah, make sure you back up your files so I saved them before programming and if there's any errors then just close down Unity but make sure you don't save it. But make sure you saved it before programming. So alright then. Alright, so as I was saying before we get started to anything else, uh, if we go back to our project and actually go to back to assets and our prefabs um, and create a new uh, folder called um, resources make sure it's resources otherwise um, your network won't work and if you create a new folder and name it player and if you find your first player uh, first person controller which should be somewhere here um, first person where is it Alright then, um, there it is. We don't want that in the game, do we? Because we don't want to spawn as that player. Because uh, we want to spawn in different locations, right? So if we drag that, if we actually click on that and rename the text into player. And change the tag into player as well. And then press apply. And then drag that whole player into your player uh, folder. Make sure it's in your resources. So it should have your main camera and it should also have the flashlight. So when, uh, when it has that, it uh, should be all perfect. Um, where is it? Where is it now? I think I've lost it again. Alright, uh, over it is. I've got to find it before getting into anything else. So I believe I've got your button. No. Um, there it is. Main camera. Alright then. Don't replace. So we might have to redo the flashlight, I don't know. Um so I'll see this at the very end. So we delete that player and actually spawn another one. Okay, it still has the flashlight, that's good. That doesn't make any difference. So make sure you delete that player. Uh when that's done, alright. So that's that should be good. Alright, so uh before we get started with any programming because uh, we don't have a player and if we press play uh, I believe there should be a grey screen a blank screen let's say and yes there is because the thing is we don't have no camera we don't have our player input 
So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a camera in this corner here so that um, it captures the outside which is pretty cool and it looks pretty nice as well with all these lights. So there should be actually a garden but I just leave it with words so I don't know I'll see if we change these textures or not. So if we go to game object and you go to and you click on camera uh, make sure you drag it up um, and rotate it so I'll rotate it about this way and then drag it backwards the camera must be facing the um, the Z axis because that's basically where it's looking at so if we place it up about there Right, so it should be in this corner like right here and then we're just gonna rotate it downwards as well and right side as well so if we play the game now we should be able to see pretty good view um, so we should have a good view so this looks pretty awesome right uh, I love it and you guys should like it as well because you guys can place it anywhere you like but I prefer doing it outside because it looks nicer with all these lights and the lights reflecting off the ground and that bush right there as well so when this is done we're gonna get into um, getting everything sorted out as I said I am not used to with the code so I'll be back with you guys when I get a code up and yeah okay so well uh, right when the camera is laid out let's go and create a script and alright then we're gonna uh, go into our scripts up here, add a component, component, and add a new script. Name it Network Manager. Uh, make sure it's Network Manager, and make sure you're using C Sharp as the code I'm using is C Sharp. And what this code tells us is about is basically the status of the server, so it tells you if you're connected or not, and yeah, you guys will see what I mean by this during this video. So, before we get into anything else, we might or might we may or may not get an error here, but I hope we don't. Um, okay, no errors. So if we go onto Network Manager CS, and what we're gonna do is first of all um, uh, go into Void Start. And we're going to type in connect two brackets and a colon, semicolon. Make sure there's no, yeah. All right then. If it's in red, then just ignore this, but it will be fixed in a minute. All right, we're going to after void start create a new void, which will be void connect brackets, and then make sure you do that. Alright, so now, on that void connect, you want to type in photon network dot connect using settings. Make sure it's using settings. Alright, uh, using settings. So now, this is the version you want to be using. So my update is version 1.0. So people with one point version 1.0 will be the only people that will be able to log into this map to actually spawn in this map and then just add a semicolon so that's good and if we go if we delete this as well because we don't want this um, if we type in void uh, I believe yes on G GUI uh, GUI and then GUI layout dot label okay so um label uh GUI layout dot label bracket uh photon network dot connect uh, I believe it's connection connection state detail dot to string
Okay, so what this does is, if I'll show you guys now, uh, if we start playing, you should get text in the right top corner, left top corner, sorry, and we'll see. So there we go, join the lobby, that means we're inside the lobby, but we have no players spawned at the moment, so we can't be moving around or anything, um, but yeah. So, when this is done, we're going to create another script, I believe, uh, let's see. Okay then, alright, uh, if we go back to our script, uh, which you see, and create a new function, so, uh, void, um, join, lobby, alright, so, before we get into anything else, we want a debug message to say that we are join, so, debug, dot log and then um, joined lobby so now we know what the debug is um, so photon network uh, dot join random room uh, we can also do join other rooms but, um, join room by name so join room or um, join random room, but we will just join a random room uh, for the purpose of this tutorial and for the purpose of my game. So when that's done, if we save the script and go back into game, never. We okay, we've got an error. Uh, okay, so we forgot something. So we forgot a colon somewhere. Oh yeah, I forgot a colon here. Uh, Alright, I believe this is right now. Okay, there we go. I do apologize for that. Uh, whatever happened, but that has nothing to do with it. So, if we press play now, if we look at what debug, um, we'll say we're joined and unjoined lobby. So, we're inside a game, but we don't have our players spawned in yet. So, alright. Uh, so this is going to be just like a simple tutorial. So if that's done, then what we're going to do... So it, we know it's working, so that's great. So that, because it's working, it's perfect for the game. And it's pretty cool. Okay then, so, uh, let's go back to our script. And we're going to create an error just in case we actually fail to join the room. So, void. On photon random join random join room uh, failed and our debug log so debug dot debug um, debug dot log all right. So, our debug will be on photon, join, random, uh, random join, sorry, random, join failed, if we sa save it, and, okay, alright, what's the room, aha, we forgot our semicolon, Okay, so let's try that. Uh, so we should get two debug logs. Uh, what should be failed? So, no, nope, we haven't failed, so that's good. Um, that means we have not failed to join the room, but we should get an actual error, but I don't know. I believe we should get an actual error as we was meant to, because we're not in the game, so we, we should get an error that we're not in the game, but I don't know, I think we are in the game because of the camera, but yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually go back to our code, and we're going to create a room, because this is just saying, uh, where is it, join random room. So, to be honest, what we're going to do now is just, uh, right, so what we're going to do now is create a new void, 
so void void on giant room and go underneath the debug um, statement and then on the debug statement what you want to do is type in photon network dot join random room and once again uh, what we want is a debug statement so copy that and type it underneath there and then save that so if we, sh if we try joining now uh, we should get a new statement so connecting join the lobby so we did join the lobby but I don't know we still haven't got another statement I believe we're inside the game then I believe we created that lobby 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 I don't know alright doesn't matter okay so uh Something ain't right, let me just check the code again. Alright, uh, so join room. Oh yeah, uh make sure in these brackets you type in null. because uh, we don't want to join the name, the name of the room. So we just type in null. And if we try again, we should get a new Okay, I've got an error now. Join room. Um Oh, the thing is because we're not supposed to do this. We're meant to tap in create room. Sorry about that. And then save that. Clear all the errors. And start again. So if we play it. Um, what we should see is a new statement. So unjoin lobby. Okay. Once again, something right here. Hmm. So, on photon, random join room failed. Oh my god, what's wrong with it? Photon network, I'll create room. Let's try spaces between. And then create on giant room. Void on giant room. So, I believe that should be right. Uh, to be honest, on giant lobby. Join random room, create room. No. Um, so save this. And if we try, actually. Try it once more, let's try it. Um, oh. Okay then. Alright. So if we go to file and actually build, uh, build and run, we will be able to actually uh, make sure it's on PC and build and run. So we actually named it exe song unimit scene one test, and when that's done, they just build and let's run it afterwards to see if how it looks like during the game. So it does take a while, depending on how long and how big your file is. So mine is pretty massive, I have to say. Uh, I agree with that. This a bit big. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to actually load up. Um, it does take a while. So okay. I don't know what's wrong with it. Just let's just wait for it to finish. Alright. Alright, let's just do windowed. And let's play it. So let's see. So if it, we connect to that level, it will instantly connect us to a random level. So at the moment, we've only got one level. So this is the main thing. Let's just wait for it. Um, Let's just wait for it to be uh, to actually be ready and get set it up. And yeah, there we go. So join the lobby, and if we press play here, so if we press play, all right. 
does very matter. Uh, but if we look at the game once again, the quality is really good, and yeah, I like it. I like it the way the quality is, and it looks pretty cool. So I hope you will enjoy playing this game, and yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do now is, I'm actually unsure, so we're just going to clear this, and just get ready. Okay, so, alright, uh, we're going to go back to our script, and we're going to program, alright, before we get into anything else, if we press play, the game should have spawned us to play it, right, so when we connect the game, we should be inside the game spawned, right? So if we um, go back to our script, what we're going to do is actually program it so that it spawns us to play it as soon as we join. So, I'm going to create a new function, void spawn my player, uh, in which uh, it should be a, oops, it should be able to spawn you a player. So, um, you can use instantiate, but that's basically only does it for your own computer. So, if we type in um, photon network dot Instantiate, instantiate. Um, it's a massive difference because this AI goes in every single computer, everybody's computer. Um, meanwhile, instantiate, inst instantiate is only for your computer. So make sure you do photo network instantiate, and then player. All uh, right. So we named our first person controller a player. So that's what we want, player. And after that, after that second speech mark, create a comma. And you must create a vector for it, so you must create a position for it. Okay, so you create a vector. So vector. 3.0. Create another comma and quaternion. Um, quaternion is the rotation. Um, dot identity comma zero turn in there we go all right let's just re rewrite that Okay, so there we go. Um, and semicolon. So when we save this and go back into game, and you will see it spawns as a player, but not on the map. So, oh. Okay, I've done something wrong. I believe I'm gonna start code. Alright then, I believe there's something wrong that we've done. So let's go back to prefabs um, and resources and actually take that player out. So respawn it right in there. Go back to our remove that player. Um, and then that player drag it right into the thing. Remove that. And if we try it now, it should actually spawn us a player right in the middle of the map. Um, so join the lobby. Hmm. Okay, um, I think we did miss a code somewhere. Okay, um, the code looks pretty cool. So if we go back to our player, um, we should have get an error, but I don't know what we did not. I believe we require a photon view. So if we um, get that on. And observe so if we get the main camera so main camera uh, we're not going to get to anything we're not going to be changing anything of, uh, from the observe um, option or serialization all right so if we try it now it should actually spawn us like right in the middle the lobby hmm I believe is just because okay 
Yeah. All right. So before we get into anything else, um, back to our project, player. Mm, not. Let's do that. Let's check out back to our script, player. If we rename it to player, let's try it. Sorry about that. Um, controller. Save that. Uh, rename our prefab here to player. Is it renaming? Uh, player controller. If we go back to our prefabs, uh, assets, let's say, create a new folder called um, player. And if we double click on that player and look back through our assets into our prefabs, uh, wherever our. Find your player. So, player stuff or. Yeah, resources. I believe. Yeah, no, it's not. That's not it. Um, Okay, let's go back to our uh, folder. So prefabs. Uh, where is it? Is it resources? Yes, it is. Um, so resources. Drag it into our player. So it should be right here, right? So if we let's try it out now. <coughs> No. All right. Um. Is it because what? I want. I actually have no idea why it doesn't want to spawn us player. So player resources. Player controller. And tag. Let's try. Let's see if this makes any difference. Um. And tag. Let's try it. Let's see if it actually created a player in here. No, it has not. Um, hmm. I really do apologize because I don't know why this is actually taking so long. Swarm my player. Um, all right, something ain't right here. I believe that the whole code is actually right. Hmm. I actually, I've got no idea what's wrong with the code. Um. I wonder. It says photo network, don't instantiate, uh, bracket, player controller, comma, vector 3.0, quaternion identity, hmm, ah, uh, to be honest, Okay. So, photo network don't instantiate. Uh, dot brackets. Okay, I believe that there must be no space here. Let's try it out now. Because JavaScript is actually uh, really strict with the codes. Hmm. Um. I don't know what's the problem. To be honest, it should be working perfectly. All right. To be honest, let's try this. Uh. So. So if our player spawns, uh, camera dot enable camera dot 
Nie wiem. Coś łapało każdego i pakowało w takie kokony. Um. Ej, Kamera. Patryku, muszę przetrzeć stoły. Patryku. Ej, Patryku. A kamera to. Nie chciałbyś mieć takiej słodkiej meduski. Nie dzień stanu, pani klap. Wyglądasz na zmęczonego. Idź do domu i się zdrzemnij. No. Tak, z mego rzecz lub sobie poduszkę. A nie trzeba, mam już poduszkę. Alright then. I'll be back with you guys when I get this sorted out, and if I get a solution, I'll tell you guys not work. Right, hey guys, I really do apologize for what happened. I was not expecting that to take long, and also, um, just to save time, I will not be saying what I went through. But I'll leave a link in the description for a download. So go ahead, download um, the whole uh, script. So there was two scripts. One should be Netflix Manager. Which will be done for you. Uh, also, what I decided to do was make a folder for you guys. So you will have your. Um, so you should be able to have the player, network manager, and spawn spot. So these two are the main folder. This is the first folder, and the, there will be another folder. I don't know where. All right. So spawn spot. So there we go. So you should be, you sh you will be a you will have these four files inside that folder. So spawn spawn spot, uh, network manager, spawn spot script, and a player folder. So these four stuff will be in a folder, so you can download it and use it. So now when we press play, we will be able to spawn on this spawn spot, on this spawn spot. Spawn spot is basically where you want the player to spawn. If you have more than one, then they will spawn in different locations. I'll show you guys. Alright, so if we just copy and paste that. So like there, let's see if we spawn on that second one. Um, so yeah, we spawn on that second one. If we try it again, we should be spawned on that first one. And the spawn spot script is basically the team. So this is team zero, uh, as you can see. But if we, for example, um, do that uh, spawn spot, do that spawn spot here, this one, um, one, then I will be able to be in two different teams. But yeah, you guys will understand um, soon. So it's two screen. I'll, what I'll do is just put these in running positions. So that our game, and we don't want this box to be seen, right? So just click on that and close the mesh render. So we still spawn. We will spawn in that. We will spawn right there. But we just won't be able to see it. So giant, uh, we won't be able to see it. Also, if you're making a spawn spot, make sure that green arrow, so the Z axis, is facing. Uh, so it's facing the other way around. Because basically the z-axis is basically where you, whenever your player spawns, that's where the player will be looking at. So, okay, <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work. That did not work. Um. Okay, that's the reason. Make sure he's on the spawn spot. Now rotate it uh, that way. Click on that Q, make sure it's off. And if we spawn again, you should be able to see we're facing towards the house. So there we go. And in the top right, uh, top left the corner, you should see giants. So that means you're in the lobby. So you can just keep playing, hide. And we'll be adding a knife. Uh, I believe there's going to be a knife and a gun. Or a knife and a baseball bat. I don't know. We will see how this goes and how people like it. Um, so, in the next episode, we will be doing another new thing. So, in the next episode, we will be adding teams, I believe. Um, no. Yeah. Right, so, I'll show you guys that this more player does work. Um, so, if we go to File, Build and Run. So the more player does work now, I'll show you guys the evidence as if we um, build this, uh, it will give us a game and we will also have our unity.
So we will join for Unity and the game, join together. We will be on the same team because I don't have the spawn spots uh, hidden around the rooms. Um, so yeah, they all spawn in the same place. But I'll show you guys that uh, it works. Um, so if we just wait for this to be loaded, there we go, we spawn there. If we press play and go onto here, if we move away, well, we should see is that another player that um, another player is right there. But if you notice, because we're moving at this, if I move, that player moves. But in the Unity, it don't show like it's moving. The reason for this is because we have some stuff uh, enabled. So if we go to player, resources, player control, make sure you disable this. Uh, mouse looks fine. FPS input controller. Crouch uh, movement. Uh, what we have to do is actually go back into the script. So go back into Network Manager after you've downloaded it from our channel. And if you click, if you go down right here, um, what you're going to need to do is create something else. So, um, mono behavior. My player get um, geo dot get component and you want to get uh, the crouch movement. So I just put down my other screen uh, crouch movement. Make sure you get the script names correct. Um, so it's right here crouch movement. Um, so where is it? It's right here. Crouch movement and close that. Close it once again. Dot enabled equals true. Okay, so what we gotta do now is basically the main thing. So just do what I do to uh, so that you guys understand. We're gonna have to delete. Um, so we're gonna have to leave this. Actually, no, we don't. I don't. All right, never mind. Just disable everything. Um, okay. So when this is done, go into your player and click on the main camera. Make sure that's turned off. Because uh, yeah, you guys will. Because if you spawn. It will turn on itself. So if we try again, press play. <laughs> okay, new camera. Uh, make sure it's turned on actually. I do apologize. So if we try again, um, we will be able to move. Okay, we can't move. Alright, what's, what's the reason? Okay, we can crouch, but we can't move. I believe it's because... Large movement, turn it off. Um, if we try again, I should. Am I able to crouch or what? No, I can't do nothing. Okay. Alright then. Um, uh, let's see why. So, our script is saying. Um, FPS input controller, mouse look, so that, that's disabled, this is why we can move, because it enables it, and crouch movement, FPS input controller, so I believe it's this one, FPS input controller, I wonder why, um, Okay, so we turn that. If we put that in the game, it won't let us um, look around. Let's try. I wonder if it turns on. I'll see if it turns on the um, mouse look. Yeah, we can move around. We can look around, I mean, we can't move. So you see, it enables our, our mouse look. It also enables our. Uh, Right. All I wonder is why can't we just move? Hmm. 
Character motor, I believe that's the thing. I believe that might be it. Um, character motor, so if we go in. And also, um, mono behavior, my player dot go, capital dot get dot get component. Uh, component. Oh, the reason for that is because this make make sure these don't have space, and I believe is character motor. Make sure it has speech marks as well, or else it won't work. And when that's done, close it. Dot enabled equals true. All right. So if we save this, uh, make sure that's this case as well. Component, uh, let me just redo this. Get component uh, and save that. And if we try it once more, um, so if we try it now, it should work. Right, let's see. There we go. Um, so now we can jump, crouch, run. So this is all going all over the network now. So everything. So if you move around, and the other player won't move, um, but you will see him as moving. So he will be able to move on his computer. And meanwhile, you can move yours on your computer. So if we build it again. So if we go to file, build and run, we build it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's, it's going to take a time. Okay, so there we go. If we press play, right, there we go. And there we go. Just wait for it. Um, so that's good. If we press play on our Unity now. Uh, you should be able to, uh, if we can move over here, um, I'll just get it set up like this. So, um, okay, so that's quite strange. I wonder why. <coughs> I believe it's just because of the, oh yeah. Oh, okay, um, the reason for that is actually because we forgot to disable the, uh, Alright, if we click back onto our player, make sure you remove. You can remove or just disable it. And if we try now, so control B, um, which is the shortcut for control B, which is to build. So we build it and try it again. You should be able to see that we can move. The reason we was unable to move, it was just because of the character controller. Um, so yeah. Okay, so it's right here. Um, let's run it. It's actually fantastic. So let's see the quality. I hope it's good. And um, yeah, I do hope it's good. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Uh, but it doesn't. There we go. We join in on that server as well. Okay, um, alright then, hang on, I'll get this fixed, so don't worry about this man, alright, let's see, so what's the problem, alright, model behavior, I uh, get component enabled equals true, hmm, I wonder, that's the main problem. Alright, to be honest, I have no idea what the problem is, but I'll get a solution to fix it. Okay, um. What I tried doing is actually click back onto my player controller 
<laughs> name of the character Moto. Um, if we go back to our script, character Moto, we're gonna delete that. And then press save, so that's good. Um, so we tried now, I believe this should be working now. Um, hmm. Uh, we'll see. Okay, this is really strange. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Um, so as that plan is connected, I can actually start moving around again. Hmm. All right, to be honest, uh, I'll get this fixed. Okay, um, so when we worked it, so um, we'll figure out a way to hold it. Let's go ahead and do the test okay. build and run, and then we'll launch two. Sorry about that, uh, if you guys heard that, but I know you did. But anyways, I do apologize for that. Um, Hmm. Control B. Why isn't it actually letting me run it? Um. Control. Build. Actually, we just run it. Oh. Yes, it's. Alright, someone doesn't want to run it for me, so I think I've got to run it myself. Oh, there we go. Um. <coughs> Hmm. Okay. So we forgot about a semicolon. No, we have a semicolon. Um. Hmm. All right. Hang on now. I guess. Okay. So I believe the reason for that it was just because. We have only got one spawn spot, so we copy and paste that, uh, but make sure we can see it, um, so that we'll just, pay, we'll just place it f here for example, just to test out, and just build it, uh, let's see if we can actually build it, and if it turns on for us, alright then, I just finished building, Okay, uh, let's just start game here. And then get this started. Alright, so let's just wait for this and see if it actually works. No. Okay, somehow we can't move still. All right, this is quite retarded, I have to say. Um, hmm. Why is this go Why is this happening? Why isn't it working? Project. Um. Actually, it might be just because we've got this script added up. So if we get rid of it. Um. 
in save the script. I don't even know if it makes any difference, but if it does, then just remove that script. Um, but I do hope it works, and I do hope it helps, and I do hope it works, because I want to end this tutorial, this episode here. Uh, but I'm not going to end it until I get this working. So maybe about two hours or something, I don't know. Hmm, there's an error, this is why we can't rebuild. Dude, what's the error? What's the, what's the error? Come on. Tell me the error. Oh. Okay. I was wondering why I can't rebuild it, but that's the reason. Um. Okay. So if we just get rid of that. Rebuild it again. Let's see. Okay, so let's get that started up. So we're not gonna start at the same time. Let's just wait for one to load up. Okay, so that's done. If we try this one out, I hope it works, man. I hope I can see him right in front of me as well. No. Hmm. Is that the audio listener in this scene? Hmm. Right, if we look right back here. Let's see. Clone. So we've got a character controller. So this one has no mouse look. Um, so let's enable that. Let's also enable that. Let's see what happens now. Um. Okay, so if we move that player moves as well. So <laughs> this is quite funny because we can't see on this screen moving. So basically, don't move on this screen. And <laughs> yeah, um, okay then. So as soon as that player disconnects, it disconnects it from the server as well. You see. So I wonder what's the problem. To be honest, because I'm trying to get this fixed as soon as possible. So um. So we don't have that enabled, so that's disabled. Um, hmm. I wonder what's wrong with the game. Hmm. Is it this position rotation? Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna look and see. So we'll be back with you guys when I get a solution to get this fixed once again. Okay, so I believe that I've fixed the solution. Um, so I'm just rebuilding my game. And I hope I did fix the solution because I want to end this tutorial as soon as possible. Because it's over now already, but I've been working on this um, network for about two hours now. So let's get it set up. Um, I hope it works now. And if it does, I'll tell you guys what I've done. Um, so yeah. Okay, joined. Um, there we are. Let's wait for that player. Hello. There we go. And if we, m okay. So if we look closely now, um, we can't see the other player, can we? Uh, it's right there. It's not moving, is it? Um, so you can see, we moved around there, but we can't move. Uh, we don't see it move. So at least it's right here with us. Um, so that works. So that, that's how we know it works. So we close that and we go back into this game. That player is gone. It's just gone. So now, um, hmm. Okay, I believe we'll just continue with this episode in another and part two. And uh, yeah, check out the description for the downloads. And I'll see you guys back later. So peace.